when Silkworm went to, to Italy and, and I went with him because I kind of asserted myself and wanted to go on that tour, um, Andy and I started speaking fake Italian and, and it was it was perfect. Everybody you know, everybody understood us and we didn't speak any Italian. So um, it developed as this way to um, to communicate with the Italians, but then it, it became so much more to this, and to this day, if anytime we're speaking about anything important with Matt Cadane or with Steve, uh, it's all, it always devolves into fake Italian. To speak the fake Italian, she's, she's so nice because she, fake Italian, she takes, takes the, the pain from a criticism. You know, to say to someone in English, in plain English, you say, I don't like the way you're playing the bass. You're playing the bass way too aggressively. Is maybe kind of an insult to say in fake Italian, this music we're making, she is like a beautiful dolphin. She moves a smooth but quickly through the water, you know? But the way you're playing the bass now, accidentally, I think you have made this bass into some kind of a rhinoceros. And a rhinoceros cannot play with a dolphin because a rhinoceros, she will drown. Uh, you know, fake Italian was real, really bothersome. They just, you know, turn into 14-year-old boys. To really understand the genesis of it and why it's great, you have to meet Ago. You really just have to get into the, his cadence, the rhythm of his voice, and his way of speaking English when he speaks English. We're really imitating Agostino. That's, that's what we're doing. And half the phrases, you know, the turns of phrases that, that, that have become part of you know, the repertoire of fake Italian are things Agostino has said. Oh, do you want me to talk about the fake Italian? When he speak English, his English is very measured and very slow. And so what he says takes a long time to reach from his mouth into your ears. But you know it's come a very long journey from the heart to the head and then out the mouth, through the air into the ears, then into your, your own heart is a long journey. It's really great, I found, when men want to speak about emotional situations but they don't, they don't want to seem like pussies. They, they break into fake Italian. In a beautiful fake Italian, you can say things you can't say in English. <laughs> you could never say, I love you, man to man, in English, <laughs> because that's not accepted. But a fake Italian, I love you so much. <laughs> it became almost impossible to have a normal English conversation because fake Italian is just so much easier on you. You know, it, it allows you to say things in a way that doesn't offend anybody, if you want to say something that's critical. It makes mundane things more entertaining to talk about. And it allows you to, it, you know, it, it, it plays with everyone's sense of the absurd. It's just, there's something really great about it. And I hope that I never, I, ho I hope I never feel the need to stop doing it. <laughs>